I vibe code web apps all the time. We can see something right in front of me here that I vibe coded, which is for translating with AI. And it's really cool, it's a great app. But one of the sticking points I have with it is like, people wanna translate things quickly. They wanna pop something open, get a quick translation and move on. Most people are doing that from their phones and uh, having a web-based experience just isn't necessarily the best way to go. So what I wanna do is I wanna build a native iOS app or I'm interested in maybe something like Flutter, which is both iOS and Android. But anyways, I want it to be a native app. And here's the problem. I have never vibe coded a app before. Only web apps, all this time, never got into native apps. And it got me thinking, how easy is it to go from web app to native app for vibe coding? So what I'm gonna try to do in this video is build a prototype that I can test out that is a native app for my better translation AI tool. You're gonna watch me do all this. I literally know nothing. I have nothing. I, I, I build web apps and I wanna build a native app. That is what you're gonna see in this video. That is the prior knowledge that you have and uh, we're gonna find out if I can do it. First things first, what I would assume I need to do is go ahead and create a folder on my computer for this, right? So I'm just gonna call this like uh, translate app. Let's call it that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start a new ghosty window here and I'm gonna pop open Claude and this is like all those vibe coding jokes on Twitter where it's like, build an app, make no mistakes. I do know, I mentioned Flutter a bit earlier and I'm gonna go with Flutter because as far as I'm aware, Flutter is something that can be used both on the iOS app store and on the Android Play Store. So I'm gonna say Flutter. I'm literally just gonna say like, make me the scaffolding, like a skeleton app for a Flutter app. We're gonna start with that and then we're gonna see how is it that we can actually test it. So I'm gonna write my prompt now and then I'll get back to you. All right, so we have my beautiful in-depth prompt here. I wanna make the scaffolding for a Flutter app, no real functionality yet, just the starting point somewhere that I can test it. Just like that, I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna see if this can make that. I don't even know where you test it. Like, is that the same kind of thing as a web app where it just like, you run it and then you go to like localhost on port 3000 and there you go. I don't know. I have nothing. So it's trying to see like, hey, what, what do you have right now? Nothing. I haven't installed Flutter. I don't even know if you have to install Flutter. That is how little I know about. Okay, so it's saying, first of all, go ahead and install Flutter, download the Flutter SDK or use Homebrew. Okay, I don't know why it couldn't have just done that. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and like, Run that command and see if that does it. All right, so we have this message right here. Flutter was successfully installed. All right, cool. So now I can go back here and I can just say, I just installed Flutter. What now? All right, so it says, great. You now have two options to test your app. Easiest option, Chrome or Mac OS desktop app. Mm. Uh, okay, what, what I'm interested in here is iOS. So I'm gonna say, I have an iPhone. How can I test on there? I think the thing about Flutter apps, I think it works like on the web. I think it works as a desktop app. I think it's like one code for everything. Okay, so I need to connect my iPhone via USB. Let me check if you have Xcode installed. Oh dear, oh dear, I hope I have Xcode installed. Kind of scares me. All right, while we wait for that, I'm gonna plug in my phone and hopefully we can test this on my phone phone as well. Okay, so my phone is now plugged in. Now let's go ahead and see, install Xcode. After Xcode is installed, connect your iPhone. Trust this computer. Okay, so I'm gonna install Xcode, which I fear is gonna take a long time. And then I will get back here and see if we can run this on my phone. One eternity later. All right, it installed. That took a while. Uh, but it was just basically clicking accept and install, right? So it says it also installed this like iOS simulator. So I'm gonna say I installed it. It installed the iOS 26 simulator. How do I get it running so I can look at it? So I'm gonna ask that right now. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Ran a command and now we got iPhone 16e popping right up here. It has to load, but we got an iPhone on my screen, guys. That's super cool. And again, the whole idea of this Flutter thing is like it's gonna work everywhere. So it's even gonna work as a web app. I'm very excited about this. I haven't seen anything yet. So we, ah, ha, ha, ha. take a look at that. What can we see? It's just an iPhone ready for Apple intelligence. Wow, that's cool. Okay, anyways, run Flutter app on iOS simulator. Yes, please. Let's see if it's that easy. I'm gonna be shocked. I remember like 
trying to when I like knew nothing about development trying to make a Flutter app and yeah it didn't go too well so hopefully this time goes a little bit better. Okay my computer sounds like a literal airplane right now and I am on like a M5 MacBook Pro so that's a little bit concerning. Don't know why that's happening. Hopefully it chills out a little bit. All right, my computer has calmed down a lot. As we can see here, the CPU load went from like 100% to like way, 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 way less, like 20%. All right, it's calming down now. And take a look at this. Flutter demo homepage is open. That is extremely exciting. I assume you can't use Shad CN on, on Flutter apps. I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, okay, so we have this now working. So now, would you like me to help customize the app for translation functionality? I would absolutely love that. So I'm gonna say, can you make a simple UI similar to Google Translate, let's say in the situation for my translation app? Do not make it work yet. Do not do any of that. We're gonna see how that goes. All right, so it says it made it work and I'm still just seeing the exact same thing. So I'm gonna let it know that. Oh, hey, look at that. We have a translate app. Is there a way that I could actually like install this? What is this bottom overflowed by 75 pixels thing? Do, let's say. I mean, I told it not to make it work, right? So obviously that is not going to work. Is there a list of languages? I mean, we're off to a great start with this. Like the fact that this is running is amazing. So now what I wanna do again, just for testing purposes to like get this being something that works, I want to integrate the Google Translate API just to see if we can get like a super basic translator app working. And that's gonna be it for this video. And then after that, I'm probably gonna try actually connecting this to Claude Sonnet and getting my translator app working. All right, first things first, let's say I want to integrate the Google Translate API. So do that and let me know where to add my API key. All right, I just added in my API key, so I wonder if it's gonna work. So I can say, all right, I added my API key. What do I do now to test it? Hey, look at that, look at that. So I had to go and enable Cloud Translation API in my Google Cloud project, but this is now working. I can't change languages, but it's working. I'm gonna ask it to add some languages. Can you add oh, 10 more languages? So, I mean, the goal of this video is to see if the village idiot, also known as me, is able to make an iOS app, or in this case, Flutter, but at the end of the day, it can be run on iOS. That's all that matters to me. And the answer is an astounding yes. Yes, I can. It's not good yet, but it's an app. It's working and I could do the same thing that I always do and just mess around with it until eventually it is good, right? So I'm gonna say yes, implement a language picker. Yes, implement a language picker. Yeah, th this unlocks like a whole new suite of things that can be done. This is amazing. Flutter is super cool from everything that I know about it and the fact that I can now make like native apps or Maybe native isn't the correct terminology, but like native feeling ones that can be installed in the app store and the play store. That is ridiculously exciting. And it just goes to show like you can do anything now. I'm sure back, back in the day, you know, if someone was a web app developer and then they wanted to get into like building Flutter apps, it would have been far, far, far more difficult. But at this point in time, I mean, I'm able to build it. Take a look at that. So anyways, we're gonna see if we can get this language picker working uh, and if we can. So one thing that I don't understand is like, it, it keeps, every time I make a change, the hot refresh isn't working. So let me ask it about that. All right, so I just had to go ahead and run this on my own because before Claude Code ran it, I guess this is just like run dev. I never let Claude Code do that. Anyway, so we have our language picker. So now if I do like English, to let's just say Italian. And I say like, how's it going? It should give me come va. Look at that. We have this working. All right, one more thing that I wanna do just because I'm excited is I wanna see if there's a way that I can test this on my actual phone. So I'm gonna let it know. Okay, I did that. Now, how can I test it on my actual iPhone, which is plugged in? That is 
Amazing. And if I can do that, I mean, the emulator is good for this video so you can see what's going on. But usually speaking, if I could just test it like on my phone, that would be way better. And then maybe I can delete the 10 gigabyte file it made me download so that I can run this emulator. Wasn't very happy about that. All right, let's see. We said trust this device, so we should be able to test something. Found three connected devices. I think that's just... Ah, okay. So wait, I have to do this. Settings general, VPN device management. Okay. Settings general, VPN device management. Trust your developer certificate. What? How do I do that? All right, let me figure this out first. All right, it's making me restart my phone and then hopefully after that, it should work. All right, y'all, it wasn't easy. I had to click a lot of things. Look at that, look at that. Now I'm gonna try it. Let's do English to Spanish and say, how's it going today? Translate, boom. This feels like performant really good. I mean, hey, translate app, it's, a, it's, a, it's an iOS app. Hey, we had one goal at the start of this video and I'm proud to say we did it. If you like this video, if you want to see more mobile apps, I guess, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you soon and have a great day.